Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. So what we do here is we review the media, whether it be the mainstream or YouTube, the so-called alternative media, and we see if what we see is real or not by analyzing it, okay? So what we have found is many actors, many actors and fake journalists who were filming fake events. So that's why we're here. So I'm glad you're here with me. Please hit like, share and subscribe. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about someone who might be the mayor of London. And no, it's not this guy here. Although he'd probably do a better job. It is actually this guy here. The one who looks like he's doing a mugshot for some serious crime. But to be quite honest with you, he is... If he is what I think he might be, then he is committing serious crime against this country. And so is everyone connected to him. So let's get serious, okay? Right, so... Here's the proof that he's claiming to be a mayor, yeah? That he wants to be running for the mayor. Okay, there's the proof. On a, a whack channel, uh, a lying, traitorous channel that I wouldn't recommend you go to unless it's to give him... Um, you know, what the real truth about what he's doing, which is committing treason against his country, okay? Right, anyway, so that's that. Now, this is part four, okay? So what we're going to concentrate on is the association with Piers Corbyn and Flat Earth, okay? And I'm going to show you why I'm saying that, because boom, there's a t-shirt there. And thanks you, thank you to the uh, researcher who showed me this yesterday. Much love and blessings to you for that. Right, so. So, what we have here is a t-shirt with the words flat AF, flat as F. Yeah, so basically, you know, this is uh, supposedly a flat earther. Yeah, what they call a flat earther. I'm not going to go too much into detail about Flat Earth. All I'm going to say, from, to defend myself or to show you my standpoint, um, if it is flat, then what do we do about it? Um, if it is flat, then yes, they've been lying to us, but they've been lying to us about so many things. And right now, the biggest lie is the pandemic. So that's why I question why you're seeing these T-shirts and why people are talking about it at a time when really you should be putting it down at the bottom of the list of things to sort of concentrate on. I mean, I'm not saying never talk about it. I'm not censoring anyone. I'm just saying in our community, what we're talking about is connecting and exposing people who are trying to stop us connecting. It's very simple, very simple. So anyway, for the eagle-eyed pe uh, pe uh, people here, you'll see that that is Cricket Man. Now, for those who don't know who Cricket Man is, I will show you some photos right now. So, Cricket Man is this guy here. Okay, so he went to um, Trafalgar Square, 26th uh, September, and dressed up like this. Says he got um, attacked by the police. Um, and then very soon afterwards, actually gets arrested. Yeah, uh, on a separate occasion, as you can see here. Yeah, and uh, basically what what I've said in my other videos is I believe this guy just to be some kind of actor. Um, you know, when he first got interviewed, um, he he basically said that any, the only thing stopping him seeing his his girlfriend in the Australia or New Zealand was the VAWCINE. So but all the way back then, he was talking about the VAWCINE. So to me, that's a red flag. Okay, also. As he's getting arrested here, he says, this is for English cricket. Whereas if it was me getting arrested, I'd be saying a lot more things than that. Um, and telling people to go to certain channels maybe to get information. That's what I'd be doing personally. But it was a fake event, so what do you expect? Um, so that's him there. Okay. That's him here in the actual papers, like 
Getty Images took uh, this photo, right? And people throughout the world will see this guy and they'll think that this guy represents the anti-lockdown movement when in fact he's just a crisis actor and controlled opposition, okay? Um, I'm trying to be as quick as I can because I don't want to talk too much about Cricket Man because he's, a, he's a, a moron. But as you can see, he's right there, okay? Right there next to Piers Corbyn, more or less. And here's Grey Bleeder, who you should watch my other videos about Piers Corbyn and you'll see who this beautiful gentleman is here. OK, and then look at the channel there, Resistance GB with the black and white Union Jack. Uh, this guy thinks he's patriotic, but if you were patriotic, you wouldn't be a traitor to your country in fake staged events, would you? No, you wouldn't. So shut up. Um, there's my beautiful logo that I use Cricket Man for. Anyway, um, here he is again in another costume. And here he's saying um, he's had half a beer, so he couldn't remember the name of 9-11 and what COVID is, etc. He was basically trying to make out like we're all morons if we're anti-lockdown, anti-mask. And this was filmed on Rupley, so very important channel because lots of people watch it. Okay, so that's Cricket Man. Okay, so... I've just shown you Cricket Man very quickly. There he is holding Piers Corbyn's megaphone. So I've shown you two photos where he's very much connected to him. The average Joe is not going to be able to hold that uh, megaphone. Um, you know, they all have to be part of it to sort of get there, if you see what I'm saying. So there he is in his flat earth t-shirt. Yeah. Um, now, where else have I seen that? Oh, yeah. Here. Here. OK, so a separate man and this man I've seen with Piers Corbyn quite often. OK, so I'm wearing exactly the same T-shirt. I wouldn't be surprised if, it, you know, is in some wardrobe somewhere and like one of them takes turns to wear it like every second Saturday or something. So that's two people wearing this flat earth T-shirt connected to Piers Corbyn. So what I what I say to you guys is that basically what it is is that they're trying to make out that if you are anti-lockdown and anti-mask and anti-VACCINE, that you are a flat earther. Now, some people will look at flat earth and think, oh my God, what a bunch of idiots. Oh yeah, and now they're saying we shouldn't wear a mask as well. Yeah, right. Can you see what they're trying to do? This is very important, okay? This is very important. They're wearing these t-shirts to make... Uh, the average Joe thinks that if you don't want kids to grow up wearing masks, that you also believe that the earth is flat and that you'll go to the lengths of wearing a T-shirt, a, a protest, you know? So like I said, there's two examples of people very much connected to Piers Corbyn um, promoting this flat earth theory, and it might be right. I'm not having a go at people who believe it. What I'm saying is it's being used as a tool to discredit the movement because some people will say that if you think the earth is flat that you're a lunatic i'm sorry that's just how it is i don't believe that i believe you have the right to think what you want but right now we have much more important things to worry about than that and even if it is we'll still be in the same position even if the earth is flat we'll still be in the same position where we have this guy here connected to all these crisis actors and he's probably himself one trying to be the mayor and they keep filming staged events, okay? And this channel will be here reviewing all these fake events that happen. So next week on the 20th or tomorrow, whenever there's fake events, we'll be watching them and we'll be reviewing them because we know what's going on. We know the actors now. We know the circle of snakes has got bigger and bigger, but it doesn't matter because all it takes is eagle eyes like mine and my researchers and we can expose you within minutes of you doing your fake events. So sleep well, <laughs> sleep well, because we do. We have no guilt over what we do. Okay. So that was Piers Corbyn, part four of 73, Flat Earth, okay? Because like I said, they are using these people wearing this t-shirt, yeah, to discredit the anti-lockdown movement, the anti-mask movement. Because look, I don't believe in VOCCINEs, I don't believe in the masks, very passionately I don't believe in the mask, okay? 
and I don't believe in the lockdown very, very passionately. However, I am not flat earther, okay? So I I I begrudge it being used as a stick to sort of make us look like you know we're we're far out and you know <laughs> do you see what I mean? So I'm trying to be as civilized and understanding that you have the right to research flat Earth and it might be flat, but right now it doesn't help us if it is because we're in the midst of a pandemic, pandemic. And we've got crisis actors filming fake events constantly. And these crisis actors are the ones who are wearing the fake, uh, the flat earth t-shirts, guys. All right. So just want to say thanks for all your support. I, I take all your word, kind words on board and they make me stronger and they make my family stronger and they make this community stronger. And you guys should be very proud of being here while all this is going on. Okay should be very proud because you've seen how we've been under attack but we're still here we're still stronger than ever okay so peace love and blessings to all of you okay and to all those who are plotting fake events and you know who you are you're on my channel we know that you're you're planning fake events and we will be there to review them and let as many people know that we knew that you were going to do it okay and we'll provide evidence of this so if I were you, I'd get on the right side and just build communities. Instead of trying to divide us and attack us and work against us and the people of your own country, I recommend that you get on the right side because I wouldn't want to be in your position right now. Going to sleep, sweating, paranoid, wondering what's going to happen to you. We have no fear because we're protected by truth. All right. So on that note, peace and blessings. Much love from John Overkill and his family to your family. OK. No new normal. Unite the people to fight the evil. Peace, liberty and justice for all. Knowledge is power. Take care. <laughs>